The Large Hadron Collider will reopen today after three years of being shut down for improvements. CERN is in the spotlight once more. The renowned Particle Physics Laboratory has unveiled a significant discovery made by their Large Hadron Collider, which could potentially revolutionize our comprehension of the universe. Scientists at the CERN Nuclear Research Center in Switzerland have succeeded today in producing record-breaking high-energy particle collisions. Scientists have revealed that these unusual findings might indicate the presence of extraterrestrial life in a parallel universe. In this video, we'll delve into the recently announced CERN discovery that has the potential to alter everything we know. In a recent experiment with the Large Hadron Collider, CERN scientists observed an unusual phenomenon related to a specific type of quark. Quarks, the fundamental constituents of matter, come in different varieties or flavors. Some of these flavors of quarks displayed exceptional instability, undergoing rapid decay. The focus of this anomaly was the beauty quark, with an average lifespan of one and a half trillionths of a second. Unexpectedly, the decay pattern of this quark diverged significantly from predictions based on the standard model of particle physics. According to the standard model, when a beauty quark decays, it should be affected by the weak force and transform into lighter particles known as leptons, specifically either an electron or a muon. The model predicts an equal chance for both particles. However, the data from the Large Hadron Collider revealed a different story. It showed that these quarks decay in muons only 70% as often as they decay into electrons. This observation raised eyebrows because electrons and muons are essentially identical, except for the muon being 200 times heavier. Ordinarily, this difference in mass should not affect the transformation rate. All the forces within the standard model are expected to exert equal strength on these two particles. Since the beauty quarks decay through the weak force, both particles should undergo the same number of transformations. The occurrence of this anomaly can only be explained if a previously unseen type of particle becomes part of the process. This has led some researchers to speculate about the possibility of new physics being involved. The introduction of a new force-carrying particle could potentially introduce entirely new physics, expanding the standard model and addressing numerous unanswered questions. At present, our methods for probing particles are limited, making the theory of the standard model our most comprehensive understanding of particle behavior. This scientific framework accurately describes the fundamental building blocks of the physical world. However, despite its high level of accuracy, Physicists recognize that the standard model remains incomplete, with many pieces missing from the puzzle of reality. While it can account for three fundamental forces, the electromagnetic force, the strong force, and the weak force, it lacks a description of gravity and an explanation for dark matter, the dominant form of matter in the universe. Recent experiments have revealed anomalies in the data being analyzed, diverging from what is predicted by the standard model. While it's not uncommon to encounter results outside the expected within the vast data produced by the LHC, this time something has piqued the interest of scientists, prompting a closer examination of this new phenomenon. In attempting to elucidate this unprecedented discovery, researchers have proposed the existence of a new fundamental particle, dubbed Z prime, as a potential force carrier. Although this force is likely to be exceedingly weak, Given the absence of prior indications, researchers speculate it would interact with electrons and muons differently. However, the extent of its interactions with standard model particles remains a mystery. The potential identification of new force-carrying particles would mark a significant breakthrough that physics has awaited for decades. Physicists are optimistic that, if this discovery proves true, it could aid in unraveling long-standing mysteries of the universe and shed light on questions that have persisted for ages, such as the nature of dark matter or the complete understanding of the Higgs boson's role in shaping our reality. Some scientists have proposed a theory suggesting that this unidentified force could contribute to achieving one of the major objectives of physics over the past century, unifying the fundamental forces of nature. CERN has been conducting experiments since its establishment in the mid-1950s, attracting attention for various reasons, both positive and negative. Their experiments have evoked mixed emotions among people, with some fearing the potential creation of black holes, disruptions in reality, 
and other theories due to the organization's significant funding and research nature. Among their experiments, the construction of the Large Hadron Collider remains one of the most famous and controversial achievements. The LHC, the world's largest particle accelerator, spans over 27 kilometers in circumference and costs over $4.5 billion, a substantial investment. Despite the enormous cost, many supporters argue that the money was well spent, as the LHC has led to groundbreaking discoveries, including the identification of Higgs boson, also known as the God particle, and numerous other particles previously unseen. This extensive LHC accelerates various particles around a loop until they reach speeds near that of light, completing over 11,000 laps per second. Achieving this feat involves using highly powerful electromagnetics to create a magnetic field within the accelerator, surpassing the Earth's magnetic field by over 100,000 times. However, not everyone is a fan of science, especially when it involves controversial experiments like those at CERN. Concerns have been raised about the potential effects of such a strong magnetic field on local electronics and even the Earth's magnetic field. Let's hope these concerns are unfounded. When particles reach their maximum velocity, which is 99.9999991% of the speed of light, they collide with each other, resulting in a powerful release of energy and a variety of particles. The LHC was designed to accelerate a range of particles, allowing researchers to observe the different outcomes of these collisions. According to Musk, the Large Hadron Collider, constructed by CERN between 1998 and 2008, holds the title of the largest and highest energy particle collider in human history. This colossal endeavor involved over 10,000 scientists, numerous universities, and laboratories from more than 100 countries. Situated in a tunnel with a circumference of 27 kilometers beneath the border between France and Switzerland, near Geneva, it operates approximately 175 meters underground. The energy of the initial collision recorded in the Large Hadron Collider reached 3.5 tera electron volts per beam, nearly quadrupling the previous world record. Subsequent enhancements pushed the energy levels even higher, reaching 6.5 tera electron volts per beam. Musk noted that the Large Hadron Collider excels at proton beam collisions, but it can also accelerate beams of heavy ions, particularly lead ions. Typically, Proton and lead collisions are conducted for one month each year. The primary aim of the Large Hadron Collider is to enable physicists to experimentally verify predictions made by various particle physics theories. Notably, they seek to discover the vast array of new particles anticipated by subatomic particle theories and to precisely measure the properties of the Higgs boson. Hadrons are composite subatomic particles composed of quarks, held together by the strong force, analogous to how the electromagnetic force binds atoms and molecules. Baryons, such as protons and neutrons, are among the well-understood hadrons. Additionally, mesons, like the pion and kaon, initially detected during cosmic ray experiments in the late 1940s and early 1950s, are also included. The LHC operates by bringing two opposite particle beams together to facilitate collisions. During particle collisions, a flurry of particles shoots out in various directions, each with a short lifespan lasting only a fraction of a second or millisecond before decaying into nothingness. Researchers can uncover new particles in these events by varying particle types. Sensitive detectors placed around the collision sites prevent the loss of any data from each collision, but the massive amount of information generated requires significant time and manpower to analyze. Experiments at the LHC generate over 15 petabytes of raw data annually, which scientists meticulously sift through to extract the desired information. A notable achievement occurred in 2017 when scientists permanently stored over 200 petabytes of data in the LHC's tape libraries. To grasp the scale, one petabyte equals approximately 250,000 movies. The Higgs boson is considered an elementary particle associated with the Higgs field, representing the quantum excitation of this field, much like ripples in the sea. Unlike other particles in the particle zoo, it possesses unique properties lacking both the quantum characteristics of elementary matter and those of quantum interaction carriers like electromagnetic, weak, or nuclear forces. Discovered at the Large Hadron Collider, this groundbreaking finding was made simultaneously by the two major multipurpose experiments, ATLAS and CMS, 
and announced on July 4, 2012 at CERN. Initially observed predominantly in two rare decay channels, these provided the clearest signals. Decay in a pair of photons through a purely quantum virtual process and direct decay into a pair of Z bosons, carriers of neutral weak interactions. The discovery of the Higgs boson back then may have marked a milestone in completing the standard model, but it didn't conclude the investigation into this elusive particle. One significant development since 2012 involves confirming the decay of the Higgs. CERN indicated at the time that research into this elusive particle would deepen during the third run of the LHC, especially after the completion of the Particle Accelerator's high luminosity upgrade in 2029. This upgrade will enable the LHC to carry out more collisions, offering researchers increased chances to observe exotic physics, potentially extending beyond the standard model. CERN has projected that with each annual upgrade to the accelerator, it will generate 15 million of these particles, compared to the 3 million Higgs bosons created by the LHC in 2017. This could prove crucial in identifying other varieties of the Higgs boson. Theories beyond the standard model of particle physics suggest the existence of up to five different types of Higgs bosons, which may be produced less frequently than the primary one. Even before upgrades, scientists have presented strong evidence of a magnetic Higgs boson. But why is the Higgs boson so significant? The Higgs field played a crucial role in the early moments after the universe's formation, determining the nature of the vacuum in our space-time. It's responsible for the existence of matter and interactions as we know them, and for giving mass to all known elementary particles. Without the Higgs field and its boson, there would be no atomic elements, stars, or life in the universe. Why is it called the God Particle? The term God Particle for the Higgs boson gained traction in popular media after its discovery. Physicist Leon Lederman, a Nobel Prize winner, famously referred to it out of frustration as the goddamn particle due to the challenges in detection. According to Business Insider, when Lederman penned a book on the Higgs boson in the 1990s, he initially wanted to title it The Goddamn Particle. However, publishers objected and settled on The God Particle. This marked the start of a contentious link between the particle and religion, which remains a concern among physicists today. Nevertheless, the significance of the Higgs boson and its associated field cannot be overstated, as it's responsible for imparting mass to particles. Without this aspect of nature, there would be no stars, planets, or life as we know it, offering some justification for its dramatic nickname. Why do some scientists still research the Higgs boson? Apart from the necessity of precisely characterizing the new particle, scientists pursue Higgs boson research for two primary reasons. Firstly, they aim to comprehend how the physical vacuum of our universe originated in its early stages. Secondly, they seek to understand how this physical vacuum can maintain stability. The Higgs field is distinct, providing a non-zero mean expected potential energy to the physical vacuum, fundamentally shaping our universe. Scientists explore accessing the energy potential shape crucial for the existence of the electromagnetic force and the weak force. To achieve this, scientists study how Higgs bosons interact with each other, necessitating the production of Higgs boson pairs. The Higgs boson's discovery addressed the origin of mass for elementary particles, yet its own mass remains unexplained. The theory's symmetry doesn't safeguard this mass, potentially leading to instability where quantum fluctuations could destabilize the physical vacuum itself. Fortunately, this occurs on timescales much larger than the universe's known lifetime. Nonetheless, scientists search for additional Higgs boson-like particles, indicating the necessity of new physics to stabilize the Higgs boson mass. These factors drive the need for extensive data analysis and, ideally, access to higher collider energies. This explains why thousands of scientists worldwide remain committed to the task even after a decade. The delay in discovering the Higgs boson, proposed in 1964 and discovered in 2012, has puzzled science enthusiasts. The challenge stemmed from the boson's heavy and highly unstable nature. Generating such a particle required concentrating significant energy in a small space, necessitating a high-energy collider. Upon production, Higgs particles rapidly decay in various ways, with only a fraction distinguishable from background noise. To detect them, scientists built intricate detectors and analyzed hundreds of billions of proton-proton collisions to isolate a Higgs boson signal. Despite these achievements, 
Questions linger about CERN's potential to open a dimensional portal. Conspiracy theorists have proposed three popular theories regarding CERN's true intentions. The primary and most alarming theory that led to accusations against CERN is the notion that CERN is attempting to open a portal to hell. Some individuals speculate that CERN's manipulation of subatomic particles traveling at the speed of light could lead humanity beyond the gates of ultimate destruction. However, CERN has clarified that its aim in creating antimatter is to gain a better understanding of matter and mass. Antimatter, defined as subatomic particles with the opposite electrical charge of regular matter, is believed by proponents of the Big Bang Theory to have been created during the universe's formation and should exist in equal amounts. Nevertheless, antimatter remains exceedingly rare. Another conspiracy theory surrounding CERN is the Mandela Effect. This phenomenon occurs when many people recall past events differently from reality. Some conspiracy theorists suggest that CERN's particle experiments could cause reality shifts, propelling our world into an alternate dimension and triggering a widespread Mandela Effect. Lastly, some conspiracy theorists allege that human sacrifices occur at the CERN complex. In 2016, a video purportedly surfaced online claiming that ritual sacrifices were taking place at CERN. The footage allegedly depicted several cloaked figures wandering the CERN grounds, with speculation suggesting that a young girl was being stabbed in the chest by these figures. The Guardian reported that at the time, a CERN spokesperson refuted the claim, stating that the ritual was staged as part of an elaborate prank. Whether a police investigation ensued remains unanswered. CERN has long been a target of conspiracy theories, therefore, it's unsurprising that when scientists resumed activity on July 5, 2022, after three years of upgrades and maintenance, conspiracy theories resurfaced online as well. While science hopefuls may find this news disappointing, it is clear that CERN has no plans to open a portal to hell, the future, or any other dimension. Protons continue to zoom around the 27-kilometer loop of the world's largest particle accelerator, situated more than 300 feet underground. For over a decade, its capacity to collide particles at exceptionally high energies has allowed humanity to explore the uncharted territories of physics. Phaser, the forward search experiment detector at the LHC, has accomplished an unexpected feat. It has, for the first time, detected high-energy neutrinos generated by a particle collider, identifying 153 events of neutrino interactions with remarkable certainty. This notable achievement in particle physics holds the potential to advance scientists' comprehension of highly energetic neutrino interactions in the cosmos and unveil the mystery surrounding stellar burning and supernova explosions. Neutrinos, minuscule subatomic particles, are ubiquitous. They emerge whenever atomic nuclei combine or disintegrate. Generated by cosmic rays, radioactive decay, particle accelerators, nuclear reactors on Earth, and even in everyday objects like bananas due to the natural radioactivity of potassium, these particles pervade our surroundings. Despite being massless and lacking charge, neutrinos are the quintessential cosmic ghosts. Once produced, they seldom interact with matter. Although around 100 billion neutrinos traverse each square centimeter of our bodies every second, they are so elusive that their presence goes unfelt. These elusive particles earn the nickname ghost particles with scientists pursuing them since their initial observation zipping from a nuclear reactor in 1956. Physicists detected the signatures of six neutrinos in 2021, yet it took two years to gather sufficient data to confirm their existence. James Boyd, a particle physicist at CERN and co-spokesperson for Phaser emphasized the importance of these ghostly particles in understanding deep space phenomena. The high-energy neutrinos in the LHC play a crucial role in advancing our understanding of particle astrophysics. The experiment will continue collecting data until the end of 2025, with scientists anticipating the discovery of more ghost neutrinos to unravel further intricacies of physics yet to be explored. As for triggering earthquakes, the Large Hadron Collider cannot induce seismic activity. Numerous earthquakes occur worldwide each year, many unnoticed without monitoring equipment due to their small magnitude. The LHC has no capability to trigger earthquakes, and there is no correlation between LHC operation and earthquake activity. Some highly sensitive instruments at CERN, such as hydrostatic leveling sensors and precision laser inclinometers, can detect earthquakes and monitor underground movements. These tools, including over a hundred hydrostatic leveling sensors in the LHC, 
are capable of detecting seismic waves even from distant earthquakes. CERN, initially established as the European Council for Nuclear Research in 1952, now focuses on fundamental physics research, particularly in the field of particle physics. Particle physics explores the basic building blocks of matter and the fundamental forces that govern them, reflecting a broader understanding of matter beyond just the nucleus. Hence, CERN is commonly referred to as the European Laboratory for Particle Physics. At CERN, scientists utilize the world's largest and most intricate scientific instruments to study the fundamental constituents of matter. Their goal is to push the boundaries of human knowledge by exploring the smallest building blocks of our universe. As scientists continue their exploration at CERN and other research facilities around the world, the potential for groundbreaking discoveries remains vast. From unraveling the mysteries of dark matter and dark energy to probing the fundamental forces that govern the universe, the quest for knowledge pushes forward relentlessly. One area of particular interest is the search for new particles beyond those predicted by the standard model of particle physics. These hypothetical particles, such as supersymmetric partners or exotic particles like axions, could revolutionize our understanding of the universe if detected. Moreover, the intersection of particle physics with other fields, such as cosmology and astrophysics, opens up new avenues for exploration. By studying the relics of the early universe and observing cosmic phenomena like black holes and neutron stars, scientists can test fundamental theories and expand our comprehension of the cosmos. In addition to fundamental research, the technologies developed at CERN have far-reaching applications in various fields. From medical imaging and cancer therapy to material science and environmental monitoring, the innovations born out of particle physics research benefit society in countless ways. Furthermore, international collaborations like those at CERN foster cooperation and understanding across borders. Scientists from diverse backgrounds come together to tackle humanity's most pressing questions, transcending geopolitical boundaries in the pursuit of knowledge. Looking ahead, the future of particle physics holds promise and excitement. With upcoming experiments such as the high-luminosity LHC and future colliders like the proposed future circular collider, scientists aim to push the limits of our understanding even further. What discoveries will CERN unveil next, and how will they impact the future of science? What are your thoughts on these discoveries? Do you believe that they have the potential to influence us? Share your opinions in the comments. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe to see more videos.